All right, everybody. A great day for Longhorn fans and Indianapolis Colt fans alike. Sam Ellinger has been named the quarterback one. Not going to waste any time getting that out. You might have already heard it. You'll probably come to YouTube looking up Sam Ellinger QB1. What is he like? And I'll tell you as a Texas fan, I'll give you all that. As well as, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below what you think about Sam Ellinger starting for the Indianapolis Colts. Whether you're a Colts fan, whether you're a Longhorns fan, or whether you just don't care about any of the teams and you just hate us. Let me know how you think he's going to do. All right, everybody. Without further ado, let's get right into it. All right. Now, I know you're probably sitting here wondering, well, why are you so happy, Nash? Like, what, what is it? I get you're a Texas fan, but are you really that excited? I may or may not have some money on the line. May or may not. May or may not. Now, this does not include Dynasty Leagues. If you are a fantasy or a Dynasty football player, I recommend going and scooping Sam Ellinger up for the waiver right now if he's there seriously right now he is a rushing quarterback as you're going to see in a minute they're planning to they're they're riding him out sam's the guy for the rest of the way unless something happens unforeseen so go pick him up in your fantasy football leagues if you're a longhorn player and you lose if you're a longhorn fan and you lose to someone with sam ellinger in the starting lineup I mean, like, are you going to forgive yourself? No, I wouldn't. Go and get him. Really cool, also, side fact that I found today. These are the top 20, uh, the top 10 quarterbacks from the 2019, from PFF, the 2019 season in college. Now six of them are starting NFL quarterbacks with the addition of Sam Ellinger. I mean, obviously, him being up there with Joe Burrow, Jalen Hurts, Justin Fields, Trevor Lawrence, Tua Tagovailoa. I know I said that last name wrong, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take the L on that one. But you get the point. He's in good company. Tua is not looking bad. Burrow's not looking bad. Hurts isn't looking bad. Lawrence isn't looking bad. Fields, uh, I mean. I, I'm still a fan of Fields, but that's not what this video is for. This is a Sam Ellinger video. So, quickly. How did he do in the preseason? Well, let's just look. Week 1, 10 of 11, 88 yards. Week 2, 9 of 11, 136 yards. Now, those aren't like super high yardage or anything like that. But the dude is efficient. And it's a little bit different than what we saw at Texas. And then week three, he was 5 of 7 for 60. It is either 65 or 67 yards. Can't, I'm not, I don't have it off the top of my head immediately. But it's a good day. It is a good day for Longhorn fans and also Colts fans. You're getting what, I mean, now granted it was preseason, right? So, you want it, you do want to take it worth a grain of salt. But the things that you can take away from the preseason, is the guy accurate? Well, Sam was dead accurate this preseason. And that was a major gripe that I had as a Texas fan with Sam Ellinger when he was here. Was it felt like his, especially his deep ball, was not accurate? I You cannot say that anymore. Once he's been in the NFL and after he's been coached and developed in the NFL. And that leads to a sidebar that we're not going to go down right now. But, so, looking at the news. News broke. Jordan Schultz, to be clear. Sam Ellinger, QB1 and Indy. Even when Matt Ryan is healthy. Not a temporary fix. He has the keys. This is big. Matt Ryan, trade went down. When the trade went down, the 24.7 is fully guaranteed and 12 million is fully guaranteed in 2023. So this is like, this is a bit, they're, they're making a move. They're saying, Hey, we either don't have faith at all in Matt Ryan, or we really have faith in Sam Ellinger. And I think it's a little bit of both. 
But here you go. You also look and you see Sam Ellinger. He is now the seventh starting quarterback under Frank Wright. And really, if you look at this, they've been they have been searching for an answer at quarterback ever since Andrew Luck. And it sounds very similarly to Texas. When we were when Texas first had Sam Ellinger come, and we had Shane Bouchelle, if you remember that. Sam Ellinger was he was this, you know, steady presence that we had not had since Colt McCoy had left. Very similarly to the Andrew Luck ordeal. Now, something that, like, I mean, like, I actually had the chills when I saw it, when this news came on. I don't know if it's because I got money invested into him. I don't know if it's just because I'm a really big fan. Or if he, or if I think, or if it's because deep down, I know I think he's going to do really good. Because he has looked different than he did at Texas. He has. He's looked better. I mean, there, there's a guy, Fantasy Flock Network. Go follow him for all your fantasy football needs. But he's a good friend of mine. I used to always sit there and Twitter, you know, with the delusions. But at the same time, I wasn't a big fan of Ellinger. I would say, you know what? I don't know. Ellinger. Ellinger doing Ellinger things again. That has not. That's gone away. The longer he's been away from Texas, the more consistent he has gotten. And I think if you're an Indianapolis fan, you just got to be pumped right now. Like, you have to be legit so happy to see Sam Ellinger taking the, uh, taking the reins. Now, I mean, you got to be pissed, too. You got to be, you got to be pissed at all the money wasted in Matt Ryan. But let me let me let me let let me let me say something. Had this not happened, okay? And I'm not really this, this much of an NFL guy, so feel free to comment down below and tell me how much of a stupid idiot I am. But had you not guaranteed Matt Ryan the money. Had you not done all these things, would Sam Ellinger be the starting quarterback? Would y'all have gone for a different starting quarterback? Would y'all have drafted a different guy over Sam Ellinger? And then y'all never see Sam Ellinger, ever. So th- certain things had to take place. But, I mean, hey, y'all got yourselves a guy, Sam Ellinger. If you've, if you've watched this football, which you probably have, he's a tough runner. I mean, this is a guy that you probably could have put... No, not probably. You could have put at linebacker. He probably would be an NFL linebacker right now. He has that mentality, and he has that level of physicality. And he also can put that much weight on his body. He has the frame to hold that much weight. But, I mean, Sam Ellinger's a dude. This, this is the, It's a complete leader. It's the guy I... I think he's going to take the reins, and he's never going to let him go. Never going to let him go. I mean, the only thing that's going to kick Sam Ellinger out of the NFL is bad play. That's the type of guy he is. He will not let anything else do anything. I mean, this dude, and I, I, he's been through so much too. Like, this, this has nothing to do with football, but just everything to do with the guy. He is a great, like, he, if you can, if you root against Sam Ellinger, you got to be like a horrible, like you got to really like have some like either you got to be an either OU fan, A and M fan, or you just got to be a bad person. One of those three, one of those three. You have to have one of those three factors coming into your life because to, after his dad, how he's raised his brothers and his brother and sister, became the head of the house, lost his brother after like the day after he got drafted or something like the day he was headed up to Indianapolis. Has to get on a plane back to Austin. He's been through so much. He deserves success. I'm rooting for the guy. Can't wait to see what the future holds for Sam Ellinger. And yeah. Alright everybody. Hope you all had a great day. And hope you all continue to have a great day. Great day inside the Nash household. Hook him.